about your victory today? Um, I thought we had a really nice meet um, from start to finish, and that again was one of the you know set some meet goals coming in um, that we wanted to you know obviously compete strong all the way through and work on maintaining our focus, and I think they did a really nice job of that. Made some really outstanding swims throughout the meet, and I thought the whole team you know we keep talking about depth. We had a lot of strong showing. Um, in each and every event throughout the meet, and so that was really good to see. In addition, you know, being able to break three pool records, um, that was one of our you know, season goals that we had coming in, you know, is to break uh, some of those pool records, and so it's good to see. It's nice to get those, uh, you know, a couple of those, three of those taken care of, and, uh, you know, just be able to put those races together when we're really tired, great job. Um, talk about Allison's performance both today and throughout the season. I mean, Ella, you know, Alice, you know, just a really talented athlete. And she's learning how to put the pieces together. She, you know, she didn't start swimming until really late, um, you know, almost around high school, and so she's still learning a lot. And so to see her train so consistently, which is something that we've been working on with her, you know, throughout her three years now and over the summers, and then to start putting those little pieces together, that's that's. This is the result, and you know it's the hard work, cons hard and consistent work that she's been doing that is starting to show up for her right now. Along with that, can you talk about Courtney Pope? It seems like those two yeah. are consistently near the top of every yeah. race. You know, and they you know they want to be leaders. They want to be the you know be setting that example, and we need that. We need that as a team. We need people who are you know willing to you know put put a little pressure on themselves and step up and get the job done. And you know they're consistently doing it. And again, they're doing it in practice. It's not just magically showing up at the meet and, and putting the pieces together. So it, it com it's coming from a lot of hard work, you know, each and every week. On paper, this looked like a pretty close matchup between you two guys. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily turned out that way today. Can you talk about that? I mean, there. If you look at the results, and there are some, you know, some finishes that are a tenth of a second mm -hmm. or faster. And so it, you know, it really was, you know, time-wise. A close meet overall. A lot of close races that you know they got some. We we you know snuck in and got some, and so it was a great meet to be a part of. And you know because that's one of those things we want to keep putting that that the challenge is on for them. Keep putting the pressure on and seeing how they react and how they respond. They're only going to get better with the more practice that we have with those kind of meets. And you know turning around, we have a big invite coming up after Thanksgiving where they're going to be swimming a lot of races, and that's this is that experience that they have to have heading into those meets. Yeah, there's a little bit of a break heading yeah. into next meet. What, what's the focus on in oh, practice? They're going to be, uh, they thought they were training hard now. They're going to be getting a lot of, lot of work in um, these next couple weeks. Uh, we have to keep building up that base and making sure that we're ready to go when we swing around coming into January and February because that's going to be here before we know it. And so just keep putting the work in both in the pool and in the weight room. Um, Stecker had a pretty good meet. Talk about how she's progressed as a freshman. She had a great meet. She had a great week of practice. You know, I originally had her in the two to fly, and then I saw her freestyle set on Monday, and I'm like, nope, we're going in the thousand. And uh, you know, she she you know swam as she's been swimming all week, just nice and nice and relaxed. And one of the big things we were working on with her is learning how to you know staying calm, staying relaxed at the start of the event. A lot of times she would go out and just way too fast and not be able to hold on. So now she's a lot more relaxed and calm and trusting and setting that stroke and able to build into those races and that's starting to show up as well um, at the meets which is which is just great to see. And so she's just continuing to get faster and you know figuring out the whole college thing and that's uh, that's important too. Um, you're heading into a month break. Is, are you where you thought you'd be at the beginning of the season at this point? Or are yeah, you, I think, you know, it's hard to say for ahead or behind or whatever. You know, I think we're in a very good spot. Um, you know, I think some places we can, I always, I know, I'm always going to say we can be a little bit better. Um, but I think we've set ourselves up in a very good position right now in terms of how fast we're swimming, but also in terms of we're staying healthy, we're staying consistent. And, you know, we're, we're seeing those improvements week in and week out. And that's what I, that's what I like to see. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you.